Hey everyone, it's Hannah from the Earth Lover Lab. In this video, I want to share with you guys the beautiful camping spots on the Washington coast. Washington is located in the northwest of the U.S. and the Cascade Mountain Range divides the state into two parts, Western Washington and Eastern Washington. I'll be sharing about the Western Washington, which has an oceanic climate. It has nice and cool summers and warm winters. Summers are mostly very beautiful, and then you can see the clear blue sky. However, it is true that there are many cloudy and rainy gray days throughout the year. Washington's nickname is the Evergreen State. The reason why is because about half of the state's land here is covered with forest. Major tree species are Douglas fir, hemlock, and western red cedar. What's interesting about Washington is that Despite its location in the northwest of the U.S., there are rainforests due to the high precipitation, and there are many huge trees and moss-covered beautiful forests. And so the great thing about the beaches of Washington coast is that these forests are right next to them. You can enjoy hiking during the day, and at night you can camp right by the ocean. This is a campsite at State Park about 5 minutes from the Pacific coast. These state parks normally have the toilet and water. If you are lucky, they even have a shower. So even those who are not very used to camping, you will still be able to enjoy staying there without preparing too much. There are usually some hiking spots near the state park. Ask your campsite host and they will kindly tell you where you can go with your kids or depending on your hiking level. In many parts of the Washington coast, Smooth sandy beaches and beautiful natural formations of rocks are everywhere. The water is a bit cold, but we do have a nice surf spot. And sometimes you can even find whales from the beach. At the tide pools and jetty, you can meet many sea creatures as well. Just found a live crab. If he's gonna stay here, I think uh, he's gonna be eaten by seagull or something, so I'm gonna save him and then uh, release him by the jetty over there. I'll make him survive. He's a little feisty now. Let's go, buddy. I'll come back. Next is the camp on the beach. Most beach camps in Washington require a hike through the woods to their destination that usually takes about at least 15 minutes to an hour. Plus, this is not a normal hike, but you have to carry everything you need for camping and walk the trail. Nowadays, wearing a mask is essential even while hiking, so people who wear glasses can be quite miserable. The beach camp, you get to feel the whole nature and listen to the sound of the ocean. But I have to mention that the toilet and water facilities are usually at the trailhead of the hiking course and there are almost none on the beaches. However, the beautiful sea that spreads out after getting sweaty, tears, and some blood and finally reaching through the forest is so special that you will definitely want to try it even if you have to go through some challenges. I love going camping alone, especially on the beach like this, just because I'm a little bit of a weirdo. But even if you go with your friends and families, I guarantee you that you'll have a fantastic experience there. This camp was on a full moon day, watching the full moon swaying in the fog on the empty sandy beach while listening only to the sound of waves was just so magical. By the way, there are things that are absolutely necessary other than the tents and food when camping on the beach. Those are the tidal table, bear can, and wilderness permits. Permits can be obtained from the state website and ranger stations. Also, bear cans are basically needed when camping in nature so we don't feed wild animals with human food, which later becomes harmful for each other. And the tidal table is especially important for camping on the beach to avoid you waking up in the morning finding out that the, your belongings are all submerged in the sea. Full moon and new moon days are the times when the difference between low tide and high tide is large. This time I woke up around 6am and then I found out that the seawater near the tent last night was pulled back about 200 meters exposing a lot of rocks in the water. 
Such low tides are definitely another great opportunity to discover sea creatures. Washington also has Puget Sound, where seawater mixes with fresh water and is home to a variety of aquatic life. Many campgrounds are scattered around the bay and on the island. Unlike the Pacific coast, the beach has a lot of big stones and gravel, but there aren't many waves and you can enjoy a very quiet and peaceful camp. Ferries are also run across the bay, giving you the luxury of taking a ferry trip on your way to campsite. And last but not least, I want to share with you guys the thing that we could do together to fully enjoy our nature. When we leave the city and enjoy the outdoors, we really want to take a moment and learn that this beautiful nature is finite rather than infinite. And the place where we go is a precious home for wild animals and the people who originally lived there. There are many things that we can do to protect these places. Reading the notes on the ranger station and the government websites carefully and enjoy camping and hiking by following the rules and instructions. And live better than you found it. It may be obvious or just a small thing, but these accumulation of tiny actions leads to the protection of nature and then it can be expressed as a thank you to the nature for giving us such a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss new fun videos like this. And please leave comments and questions down below so I can make contents that you are really interested in. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.